Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. This video is part of my helper series, and today we're going to be talking about video game testing supplies. All right, guys, so every once in a while, people ask me how I test some of my video games. Well, there's the always the tried and true method, play the thing. However, once we move past cartridges and we move into optical media, things get a little bit dicey. Um, you know, there's DVDs, there's Blu-rays, there's all different kinds of optical media uh, where games have been printed onto them or pressed. And, uh, you know, we're just going to go over some of my favorite ways of testing video games. Um, in various ways. Now, with optical media, I always love to use like an optical disc check, like Aerolic uh, Disc Scanner or the one from LifeWire.com. Uh, and uh, I think CD Check is dead now, um, unfortunately. But uh, oh, VSO Inspector is another one. Um, but just search for one, whichever one you feel comfortable with, run with that. Uh, I think the LifeWire one is actually free. Uh, this has actually become so important that even video game stores are starting to use these things because how can you sell a game if you can complete 95% of it and then suddenly the last stage starts to load off the disc and boom, done doesn't work anymore game crashes now i know that this does not really apply to playstation 5 playstation 4 xbox uh series x and so on any of the games where they're installed on the hard drive that doesn't really apply but older systems like ps3 xbox 360 uh, turbo graphics cd sega cd you know these those things the disc has to work 100% of the time. And thankfully, that's what these programs are for. The next thing that I absolutely love using is controller testers. Now, there are very specific ones out there, like the ones uh, that you can hook up to your computer or use Bluetooth from your phone or anything like that. But fighting games are actually a really, really good way of testing a controller. So if you don't have access to any of that other software that I mentioned, pop in a good fighting game, make sure all the buttons work every single time you press them, and, and that you can do the fireballs and dragon, dragon punches and all this other stuff. Uh, for video testing, I'm pretty vanilla here, guys. I really, really, really like 240p test suite. I think that it's it does a really good job of everything. and, and I, you just can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with 240p test suite. I also use a multimeter to test points on cartridges, just in case there's like a, a huge amount of impedance to keep a, a track from running, or if um, continuity has been broken on a trace or something like that, and I need to repair the trace. I've actually done that on an NES game. And uh, thank goodness I had my multimeter because the trace was actually broken in multiple places. And I was able to effect the repair just after attempting to do it once, as opposed to having to like troubleshoot it four or five times. But yeah, that's it, guys. I uh, it, I think that it's actually very important for you to maintain your collection. And to do that, you have to have testing supplies. So go out there, get you an optical disc check, uh, find some way to do controller testing, do video testing with 240p test suite, and buy a multimeter. I mean, you can, you, I think you can pick one up at Walmart for like $10 these days. That's it. That's all I got for you. And that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and I look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.